good morning we will continue with the discussion on transformer there are two more types of problems uh, based on the calculation of efficiency so let us solve one more problem which is uh, of important uh, uh, nature a 250 kva single phase transformer has percentage efficiency 98.5% at full load and 0.8 power factor lag and percentage efficiency 97.751 at half load and 0.8 power factor lag find iron loss and full load copper loss also find percentage efficiency at three four load at point six power factor lag so this is a typical problem wherein the efficiency of the transformer at full load 0.8 power factor has been given as 98.135 at another load namely half load 0.8 power factor lag efficiency is 97.751 so using this data you have been asked to calculate iron loss and full load copper loss so we have to use this formula which we have already studied in the previous class efficiency of transformer at x times load full load and <coughs> power factor cos phi given by x times kva into 10 raised to 3 cos phi by x times kva into 10 raised to 3 cos phi plus x square times wc plus wi <coughs> where wc is full load copper loss as already we have studied w i is iron loss so from first data you need to substitute from the data at full load x equal to 1 and power factor 0.8 efficiency is 0.98135 equal to, that is efficiency is 
नाइन एट वन थ्री फाइव इक्वल टू एक्स एक्स इज फुल लोड फुल लोड मीन्स वन के वी ए रेटिंग टू फिफ्टी इंटू टेन रेस टू थ्री इंटू पॉइंट एट डिवाइडेड बाय वन इंटू टू फिफ्टी इंटू टेन रेस टू थ्री इंटू पॉइंट एट प्लस एक्स इज वन डब्ल्यू सी इज अनोन टू बी कैलकुलेटेड डब्ल्यू आई इज टू बी कैलकुलेटेड सो लाइक दिस फ्रॉम द गिवन डेटा फॉर द फर्स्ट केस वी हैव रिटर्न द एफिशियंसी इन दिस वे यू कैन आइसोलेट और कैलकुलेट डब्ल्यू सी एंड डब्ल्यू आई लाइक दिस वेर इन on simplification you will be getting the equation as 0.98 WC plus point nine eight one three five point nine eight one three five WC plus point nine eight one three five WI equal to equal to Three seven three zero. This is equation A. Equation A. So in terms of W C and W I, we have got this equation. On cross multiplication, you find this equation. Similarly, using the second data, we will create one more equation in terms of W C and W I as follows. The other efficiency is point nine seven five one equal to half load. That is at half load and power factor point eight. That is second case. Efficiency has been this much. Substitute in place of x, we need to substitute half because it is half load. KVA 250 into 10 raised to 3 into cos 5. That is 0.8 divided by half into 250 into 10 raised to 3 into 0.8 plus X square. This is half square. W C, the unknown, and W I. So using this substitution, once again cross multiply the terms and get another equation in terms of W C and W I as point. Two four four three W C plus point nine seven seven five one W I equal to two two four nine, which let us call it as B equation A and B. So. Two simultaneous equation in terms of W C and W I have been created. Now using A and B solving for W C and W B W I from equations A and B. 
सॉल्विंग फॉर डब्ल्यू सी एंड डब्ल्यू आई यू कैन यूज यूर कैलकुलेटर फॉर सॉल्विंग दीज इक्वेशन रेडीली यू विल गेट द आंसर सो प्लीज लुक इन टू दॉर्मैलिटीज टू सॉल्व द इक्वेशन ए एंड बी डायरेक्टली इन यूर कैलक्युलेटर सो ऑन डूइंग दैट यू विल गेट द आंसर रेडीली एज डब्ल्यू सी इक्वल टू टू थाउजेंड वैट एंड डब्ल्यू आई एटीन हंड्रेड वैट एटीन हंड्रेड वैट so in this way we have got the values of the full load copper loss this is full load copper loss and this is iron loss now you can use these values for calculation of efficiency at any load and power factor because you know this wc and wi okay so therefore to find efficiency at 3/4 load and power factor 0.6 in the last part of the problem this is the question okay x is 3/4 and power factor is 0.6 once again using the same formula You will be calculating the efficiency equal to x three by four two fifty into ten raised to three into point six divided by three by four into two fifty into ten raised to three into point six plus x squared three by four Square into W C two thousand and W I eighteen hundred. So by using the values of W C and W I, substitute and calculate the efficiency at the three fourth load and power factor point. so please complete this calculation <coughs> as uh, a homework that is efficiency at 3/4 load and 0.6 so this is another type of problem uh, that you can refer now let us go ahead with some additional information on the efficiency quite often we require in some objective type of questions just make a note maximum efficiency occurs when copper losses equal to iron losses that is maximum efficiency occurs when 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 copper losses become equal to iron losses that is so at any load copper loss is given by x squared times wc iron loss remain constant as w i so therefore what you find is x equal to x squared equal to wi by wc x is equal to wi by wc under root that is at a fractional of the full load at a fraction of the full load that is x at this fraction of full load maximum efficiency occurs at this value x equal to this 
you will find the occurrence of maximum efficiency. Okay? So in general, for our purpose, for the first semester level, just try to remember whenever variable losses, copper losses, become equal to the constant losses, that is iron loss, maximum efficiency occurs. So this much information just bear in mind. So at the end we will solve one more problem on voltage regulation. Okay. So just note a problem on voltage regulation. Example, a 5 kVA 200 volt bar 100 volt single phase transformer has has rated secondary voltage on full load on full load when the load is removed. Removed means reduced. Load is removed. Secondary voltage. The secondary voltage becomes 110 volt. Determine Percentage voltage regulation of the transformers of the transformer. Okay. So, as you can see here, this is a transformer, this is primary supply 200 volt, this is the secondary that is 100 volt, that is Vs, this is Vp, Vp is 200, Vs is 100 volt. So whenever there is a load, full load, at full load, this voltage is 100 volt, at full load this voltage is 100 volt. On removing this load, the transformer will attain no load condition, the load has been removed. Therefore, voltage tends to increase and it has increased to 110 volt. So, with this information, you are supposed to calculate the voltage regulation. Okay. So, from data, we have secondary voltage at full load. Secondary voltage at full load is 100 volt. Secondary voltage at no load is 110 volt, 110 volt. So, one general aspect you need to remember that is, this 100 volt is the rated voltage. Primary voltage rated value is 200. Secondary voltage rated value is 100. So, whenever we calculate the regulation, in the denominator of the formula, it is advisable to substitute the standard reference value as percentage voltage regulation equal to VSNL minus VSFL divided by, divided by it is better to use in this particular problem Vs Fl because rated value is 100. That value you need to use. That is always advisable in this case. So accordingly, we can calculate. So substitute 110 minus 100 divided by 100. 10%, that is 10 divided by 
100 into 100 that is 10 percent 10 percent okay so like this in this problem this formula is to be used even if you write here vs nl and calculate you will get the credit okay but in practice this we have to uh, note and follow in practice the voltage regulation should be between Five to ten percent only. Five to ten percent only. If there is a transformer with some thirty percent voltage regulation, it is not a good transformer. It is not a good transformer. So that uh, is just uh, concern. And it is worthwhile to know why this voltage regulation occurs. So in this transformer this is electromagnetic machine it has got primary winding secondary winding so therefore there will be primary resistance there is resistance for the primary winding and secondary winding there is leakage reactance for primary winding and secondary winding okay so resistance is resist r and leakage reactance let us indicate by x or xl so there is presence of two parameters in primary and secondary winding that is resistance and inductive reactance. So whenever the transformer is loaded, supply is given, secondary voltage appears, load is connected, then you will find the flow of current, secondary current IS and primary current IP. So whenever current flows in the transformer, through the resistance R and leakage reactance XL, there will be a voltage drop IR and IXL. Due to this voltage drops, a part of the voltage reduces with increase in load, current increases. With increase in current, the drops increase. And whenever the voltage drops increase, the terminal voltage definitely decreases. So therefore, the terminal voltage decreases due to the resistance of the transformer and leakage reactance of the transformer. Okay? So this fact you can easily understand. <coughs> Let us conclude the discussion on transformer by quickly looking at applications of transformer so as we have seen in power systems there is generating station generator generating power at 11 kilo volt this power is to be transmitted over long distances from generating station to load. So, for example, Bilgam is load. We are the consumer. Generating station is located in some project, say Kali project, Bikanagar Dandeli. So, from there, over 150 kilometers distance, the power has to come from the generating station to load in the present case. So over this long distance the power, electric power has to be transmitted. For that purpose as we have studied in the first topic while studying the single line diagram for the power systems we have seen that this voltage has to be stepped up, increased to some higher value of the order of 220 kilo volt 
in our region we are using 220 kilovolt in some regions they have used 400 volt 750 kilovolt and so on okay so voltage has to be increased from 11 kilovolt to 220 kilovolt so for that purpose we need a transformer that is a step up transformer so for increasing the voltage in this case at the generating station a transformer is required in the load the level of the voltage has to be reduced to the extent of 440 volts three phase or 230 volt single phase so in the rear end of the power system at the domestic level the voltage has to be reduced so the 220 kilovolt voltage has to be reduced the first it is reduced to 11 kilovolt in the first stage then later once again one more transformer we have to use to further reduce the voltage from 11 kilovolt to 440 volt okay so in the rear stage we need step down transformers step down transformer okay so prominently we need the transformers in the power systems which are the integral parts of any power system so that is the primary application of the transformers then when we come to the domestic application whenever we are using the electronic devices like say tv tape recorders some machines domestic machines and tools the voltage has to be reduced from 230 volt to 24 volt or 12 volt or 9 volt as per the requirement so the reduction in voltage has to be done so for that purpose we use small step down transformers very commonly in all electronic equipment so that is another uh, the application of the transformer okay. so through the discussion of this uh, applications of transformer uh, we have come to an end on the discussion on transformers and the most important point one more point then we conclude very important aspect transformers are used only in ac circuits you should not apply dc should not apply dc to a transformer we should not apply dc supply to the transformer if you apply dc supply to the transformer it burns readily it burns readily because the transformer if you apply ac supply whenever you apply vp there is production of self induced emf in the primary which is opposite to vp so the current drawn by the transformer will get limited automatically with ac supply because there is production of ep ep is produced only when ac supply is given if you give dc supply there will be no change in flux linked with the primary there will be no self induced emf that is ep will remain zero therefore there is no opposing voltage with respect to vp and with large value of vp 
large amount of current will flow into the primary winding and therefore the primary winding will get burnt damaged therefore we should not use the transformers in dc circuits okay? so thanks for your patient listening